Ukraine can fight against Russian fighters together with European air defense forces. The creation of a unified air defense system should be one of the points of agreement on the defense of Ukraine. Anatoly Krapchinsky, deputy director general of a company of Ukraine that produces electronic warfare equipment, aviation expert, shared this on Espresso TV. If Poland's air defense systems operate from its territory, their range will be limited to 150 kilometers. If we consider the possibility of entering Ukrainian airspace, then we can cover the entire right bank of Ukraine, even reaching Kyiv. There are aircraft in Poland that Sweden is going to give us. These, along with F-16s, can work effectively. This way, not only Kyiv can be protected, but also other regions. However, this is a matter of closing the airspace by the military forces of another country, he said. A unified air defense force in Europe would allow aircraft not only from Poland, but also from France and Romania to defend Ukraine's airspace. However, this is a complicated issue of diplomacy, said Krapczynski. Poland is actively advocating for the creation of a unified European Air Defense Force aiming to unify all countries into a single system. This would significantly enhance coordination of capabilities, allowing countries with larger systems to better distribute their forces. Ukraine could potentially join these forces, leveraging its unique experience in shooting down Russian KH-101 and Kinzhal missiles to share knowledge. We should use this thesis to negotiate with Europe about creating a unified air defense force. Ukrainian F-16s provided by Western partners could then be stationed in Poland or Romania without engaging in combat, which is legally easier to do. Poland would not agree to host planes conducting combat missions in Ukraine, as this would imply direct involvement in the war against Russia, the aviation expert concluded. Anatoly Krapczynski also noted that Russian forces are bluffing about being ready for F-16 aircraft in Ukraine. In June, the enemy carried out six massive combined strikes on Ukrainian airfields. Earlier, the Netherlands released a letter stating that they are authorizing the transfer of 24 F-16 fighter jets. Therefore, Russia is now actively trying to change approaches to check whether these aircraft are operating in Ukrainian airspace, Krapczynski explained. The aviation expert noted that after the first official reports about Ukraine's possible receipt of F-16s, the Russian forces launched two KH-101 missiles from the Caspian Sea. The Russians are trying to understand whether Ukraine has F-16 aircraft. In other words, the enemy is trying to model a system of strikes and test Ukraine's reaction to these strikes. Krapczynski added, A one-year-old boy was found alive in a ditch, just a few miles from where his four-year-old brother was found dead. The baby survived two days in a ditch off of Interstate 10 East and is doing well. A Louisiana sheriff confirmed this. According to him, Miracle Baby survived two days of sometimes stormy weather before a truck driver spotted him crawling along a roadside. The children's mother, Aaliyah Jack, 25, was found in Mississippi and arrested on charges of failure to report a missing child. Her bond is set at $300,000. After the four-year-old boy was found in the water behind the Louisiana Welcome Center in Vinton, Louisiana, on Monday, deputies put out a bee on the lookout for information. A family member from Mississippi reached out and said she was concerned it may have been her family member. She also told authorities about the missing one-year-old boy. She was located in Mississippi, without the one-year-old, by the Meridian Police Department and taken into custody, the Calcasieu Sheriff's Office said. The search for the baby continued until the trucker reported seeing a baby in a ditch along Interstate 10. When deputies arrived, they were able to positively identify the child as the missing one-year-old, the sheriff's news release said. Calcasieu Parish Sheriff Gary Stitch Guillory said the baby had numerous bug bites but otherwise appeared to be in good condition. Autopsy reports were pending on the four-year-old who was found, Guillory said during news conference in Lake Charles, about 200 miles west of New Orleans. The body had been found in a lake behind an Interstate 10 welcome center near the Texas state line, according to Associated Press. We look at this one-year-old as our miracle baby because he was still alive, a visibly moved Guillory said. Hurricane Barrel had struck East Texas early Monday, and the search for the child played out amid bands of intermittent, heavy rain and high wind gusts. 
This kid spent two days out in the weather on the side of the highway, Guillory said. Thank God that trucker seen him.